Welcome to Cocos 2D Tutorials, brought to you by Bob Ulan. For more information, go to bobuland.com slash Cocos 2D. In this tutorial, you will learn how to optimize the animation we made in the tutorial on how to make an animation. If you haven't already done so, take a look at that tutorial first. So, let's now discuss how to optimize an animation. Let's begin by looking at what we need to make an animation. We need a sprite, which we attach as a child to the current layer, and we need an action on which we can run our sprite. The end result is an animation. An action can be simple like a rotation in which case Cocos2D can generate the action easily. But what if we want a frame-by-frame -frame animation? Then several steps are involved. First, you need an application like Zwooptex to generate two files, a sprite sheet which contains all the different frames packed into a single image, and a file that contains the coordinates of the frames. You have to import these two files as resources into your project. Then, in your program, you can use these two files to create a cache object. Using the cache object, you can create an array of frames, which you can use to create an animation object, which you turn into an animation action. Now you can run the animation of the sprite, resulting in a frame-by-frame -frame animation. One thing to keep in mind using this scenario is that Cocos2D makes one OpenGLES draw call per sprite frame. Now each draw call uses three steps. A preparation, a render and a cleanup. And if you have several sprite frames like you have here, you will perform a prepare, render, clean up for each sprite frame. To optimize the animation, we would like to make a single draw call, not per sprite frame, but for the whole sprite sheet. In other words, what we are after is to change this into one single prepare, then render, 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 and then, at last, a single cleanup. If we could use this scenario, we would optimize the animation. But how do we make such an optimization? Well, instead of attaching our sprite to the layer, we could instead attach it to a batch node, and then attach the batch node to the layer. But how do we get this batch node? Well, we can create it from our sprite sheet. Let's see how this is done in Xcode. Here we are in Xcode, where we left off in the tutorial how to make an animation. If you remember, we had a sprite sheet and the corresponding frame coordinates. We wrote our code in the Hello World layer inside the init method. Let's run this. And as you remember, this was our animation. Let's create a batch node. First, identify the place where we are attaching our sprite to the layer. We will create the batch node just below that line. What class can we use to create the batch node? Let's go to the documentation. Find CC Sprite Batch Node. Look for a class method we can use. Here is a method we can use, and the only required parameter is the name of the sprite sheet, which we have here. 
Let's use it. CC sprite batch node. Let's call it something. For instance, batch node. And we create it by CC sprite batch node. Batch node with file. And our file is birdatlas.png. Take now the original add child statement, cut it and paste it twice below the batch node. Self is our layer, so we add batch node to the layer. And then to the batch node, we add our sprite. We have introduced the batch node and thus we have optimized our animation. If we now run our app, you will not see any difference. But if we ran several hundred bird animations at the same time, you would notice that the performance is better when batch node is used. Thank you for watching.